there will be no robot uprising, at least not from these guys. But this is state-of-the-art robotics. We get most of our ideas about robotics from science fiction, and we want to show a little bit of science fact. In the very near future, robots like these could save lives. The reason you need robots is when it's too dangerous for people to go into a particular site. A great example was at Fukushima. They could have gone in there and vented those reactors and prevented the explosion. This international competition was organized by DARPA, the Pentagon's research wing that invests in futuristic technologies. The robots have to use human tools, for example, steering a golf cart or using a drill. We have a valve that we need to turn to shut off a gas leak or something similar. Uh, we have to cut a hole in a wall to get access to something behind it. The winners get bragging rights and $2 million toward their research. Team 2 bit is clearly MIT and uh, the Japanese. The heavyweight in this competition is MIT's Helios. This robot weighs almost 400 pounds. Uh, with the battery and the hydraulics. But in rehearsals, the DRC Hubo from Team Keist of South Korea blew away the competition on wheels. Uh, almost similar with our practice in our country. So actually all, all of our members were relaxed. These engineers and programmers worked tirelessly on their creations. There's blood, sweat, and tears, quite literally, in that robot. Uh, we made it ourselves, we cut the metal ourselves, we make the circuit boards ourselves, and we program it ourselves. And now, the robots are proving to the world what they're really made of. Raquel Maria Dillon, The Associated Press, Pomona, California.